Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Exodus with me, Bring It Down. We're entering the light. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Quest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. How does she shave her armpits? You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kinda dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me. Just A. She'd hug me and say, One day, A, eh, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in. And from there, to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly, because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Did never pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagined she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, so what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. I like this little touch, the, uh, the wind chime. On top of that, there's a lot of typos in this, uh...
in this segment. I realize that's what I was supposed to do. Okay. Well. I don't condone smoking, ladies and gentlemen, kids. It's bad for you. I can do it again. We're just gonna keep doing this. <laughs> Alright, maybe I have to hit the D pad in the other direction. Nope, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Alright, I don't know how to get out of here. I guess we're just gonna smoke the cigarette until we reach our destination. Alright. Running out of ideas. Oh no, crap, wrong one. <laughs> Who's in here smoking and drinking all episode? Nice, nice relaxing episode, I suppose. Listen to the wind chimes. It's a nice touch. It really is. Alright, uh, let's see if I can get out of here. Something happened, right? No? I don't know how to get out of here then. Go, there we go, finally. I'll what the heck? Rest some more and join you later. <laughs> I was holding that the whole time. Why didn't they let me up earlier? I right, supposedly we can actually look at the uh, the diary here. Uh not yeah. So we look at the diary. And we can actually look up the uh, like the mission statements or whatever from each one. The crew, we can learn more about the crew. I probably won't read this all on camera. It's, it's quite a bit. I've fallen a little bit behind. I do like the, uh, the drawings here, though. Oh yeah, I do want to read about Sam real quick. Sam is one of the Order's best. He might not be the strongest, fastest, or the best marksman we have, but he can certainly hold his own in a match with Spartan champions in each of these areas, and he definitely is the most unusual of us. Sam is an American, a Marine from the U.S. Embassy's guard detail, who just happened to be in the Metro when the Judgment Day came, eventually ending up as Colonel Miller's personal bodyguard. Okay, so yeah, he yeah had it right. He is American. Day-to-day -day life, Stepan, is so calm and nice, it's hard to believe he is a member of the Porter. I'll read the first paragraph for each guy. How about that? Uh, we are a military organization, after all. Uh, once you see this giant in battle, though, you immediately see the reason for him being here. Stepan is completely fearless and amazingly strong. He handles a heavy machine gun as if it were a regular assault rifle. We're lucky to be on Stepan's side. Having him as an enemy would be a disaster. Alyosha? Alyosha, the life of every... The life of every party. An avid lady killer. Favorite customer of the seediest joints of our... Svet Svetnoy Bolvar, and our survival on the surface instructor. After only a cursory glance, he can correctly tell if an abandoned building can last for years, or if it's ready to collapse onto your head at the lightest touch, which ability saved him back in Moscow more than once. Idiot chose his nickname out of natural humility, or perhaps simply in honor of one of uh, Dostoy Dostoyevsky's characters. <clears> oh. <throat> huh? Is that why in Dosto Dostoyevsky? Dol Dostoevsky? Dostoevsky. So I've been reading him lately. I didn't realize, I didn't think there's a Y in between the O and the E there. In fact, he's anything but. Uh, being the most educated and well-read soldier in the Order, landing the position of Miller's right-hand man back in the Metro. The question is, what does he really know about the reasons for people being held in the tunnels, the war that could be still going on, as well as who is... It's hard to see the punctuation, so. The war that could be still going on, as well as who is really in control of the Metro. Ermac, the Aurora's permanent helmsman, Ermac knows her every detail down to the smallest bolt, feels every change in the work of any of her numerous, and truth be told, quite worn out me uh, me mechanisms. Uh, with his heart, sorry. Uh, your Mac fit, fits into our group so easily and naturally, it seems he is with us since forever. And yet, <clears throat> Anna and I met him on a Hansiak base? Hansa base. 
where Yamak first helped me find my wife and then led us to the hijacking of our beloved cruiser. Duke of Darkness, Igor Dukov, the youngest, the bravest, and the craziest of us. Some join the order out of, of, out of desperation, others to protect people from dangers. But Duke is just desperately in love with adventure. Whenever, whenever the colonel asks for volunteers, Duke is always the first to shout me, no matter how hard and dangerous the mission ahead may be. Demir is probably the calmest of, of all the crew members. Demir is also extremely reliable. He'll always be there to help. He always does the hardest part of the, any job. He goes on the toughest missions, and then instead of taking the well earned respect and gratitude as one would expect, he starts blushing and saying that he had nothing to do with success and it all just kind of happened that way. There's only one painful issue for Demir, and that's his and that's his name given to him by his father. Along with half of his blood, Demir along with half of his blood, sorry. Demir can't forgive his father for leaving, going as far as denying being his blood kin. Uh, Colonel Miller Miller. Colonel Spatislav Konst holy crap, Konstantinovich. Uh, Melnikov. The founder and the permanent commander of the Order of Sparta. Miller perked and trained each Spartan individually. He was the one who the only one to come to the rescue of my home station when we were under attack by the Dark Ones. He's the only one to stand between the communists and the Nazis and prevent the conflict which would which could well spell spell the ultimate end of our civilization. It was Miller who accepted me into the order and has bl blessed our union with Anna. Sorry, I'm having a hard time reading this. His only daughter. I became his son-in-law but could never amass the courage to call him dad. Nothing but Colonel with a sir, of course. Anna, my Anna, from the very beginning, I thought I was not worthy of you. What was I? A nerdy guy from a backwater station? A dreamer hearing voices in his head? An adventure seeker? And you, the most beautiful girl in the metro. The only daughter of the legendary Colonel Miller, the best sniper of the Spartan Order. But how did you put it? There were lots of hard-boiled guys around. God, how much have I have we been through together? Okay, and... Refest upon Tokarev. A Tokarev, partial to the creations of the famous gun designer he shares the family name with, is a man in love with his craft. He's constantly busy with the crew's weapons, repairing, maintaining them, uh, and making improvements. Tokarev knows everything there is to know about weapons and even more. He can talk about them for hours, but is not really interested in much else. Uh, Katya Nastya. I can't really imagine what Katya Nastya had been through and how they managed to keep their sanity, much less remain as optimistic as they are. A little girl and a tender woman proved to be tougher than fate, tougher than fate, taking all the blows it could throw at them squarely, and these blows were mighty, were many and mighty. Crest, an avid storyteller, a talented mechanic, and a natural-born adventurer who's traveled all across the vast expanses of this threatening world of the surface. So alien to us, who'd been through hundreds of scuffles and struck thousands of deals, quite a few of which could well be of the less scrupulous sort. I don't know if Crest will be journeying with us for long, but I am not surprised he had such an easy time fitting in. Okay. What's, um... This is the radio. Gotta be careful with this, though. I do, I do get copyright. Technician here. Station Flames against my videos for this. Station here. Over. Oh my god, it's Tina! What did I miss you? Over. Are you calling just to tell me that? Over. Ah, uh, no. I just didn't expect you to be on radio duty. Here's what I wanted to say. I'm coming back from Nizhny already. How are you guys doing in Cheboxary? Over. Well, doing alright, considering the radiation and all. Over. Well, Dina, I see that you're in no mood for chatter today, even though I have news. The locals did end their scuffle after all. Well, I'll tell you more when I'm back. Over. Not in the mood? It's just that we have news here too, so come over quickly if you don't want to miss all the fun. <laughs> I see. I'm gonna run then. Over and out. Good luck with your marathon. Over and out. Come in. It's me, Timon. Hi, boss. Where the hell are you? Come in. Ah, demon, why so much fuss? Why you expect me to answer the second you call? Because of the frequency we're on, that's why. It's always jammed with the fucking art project bullshit. Ah, you don't need to worry about that. It's gone now. Gone? I thought that with so many fools going there and never coming back, it would be going on forever. I think some fool actually got them. Broke the record at all! <laughs> <laughs> that fucking gentleman! 
I'd say whatever's been gobbling them fools up is just full now and is getting some Z's for digestion. That may be, but now we can talk here and nobody will know. Yes, we can. So, what was that you wanted to talk about? You hear about that meat? Yes? I have. Not that I'm invited. I'll just stay here and wait for one of the two bosses to come hire me and my boys. How about you? Me too, me too. My people, they want some action and fat payout. And this is chance by the Holy Flame. And here, what I want to talk about. How about we work together? Ah, good thinking. I don't want to fight you anymore. <laughs> I don't want to fight you too. That knee still hurts. So, what you say, old friend? I'm in. We need to talk in person, though. A good deal likes privacy, and even though this frequency seems secure... Yes, I understand. Let us meet tomorrow at the old restaurant. What you say? Huh? Deal. See you there, Atlas. Over and out. Rachmet, my friend. Over and out. Well, you All didn't. All of the Munai Bailer are confused now, like headless chickens. Our day has come. Fight them. Fight them however you can. Come where the Baron's rig used to be. And I killed, come, killed him, I so... You you That's a fib. For too long. And what did you get in return? Only cruelty, death, and the holy flame, which I spit at. It is time to chase them away from our land for good now. All of our land, all oil, all food will be ours. Death to the Munai by Lair. Okay. Alright, I don't want to listen to music too long because that's how I get copyright claims on my stuff. Alright, let's get out of here. Hi, Anna, I'll see you later. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Adrian. Follow us. Alright, I'm gonna go this way first. See if there's anything I can interact with. Supposedly there's a bunch of stuff on the train you can interact with, but I'm not seeing it because I'm, uh... Playing on a... On a hard difficulty. So I'm no dirty casual. Wow, we can go back here. Alright, well, let's see what this is all about. Spoil the train a bit. Oh, we took the van with us too? I was wondering about that. I was thinking that'd be a good idea to bring it along. And we, uh, kind of did. It's in pieces, but it's got parts on it. This house is mostly looking intact. This is my collection of guns. Got the bulldog up top, the vowel, shambler, the shots, uh, I guess the bastard, minigun. It's another shambler that's got like a weird thing. I never found the uh, the quad barrel. Supposedly the quad barrel was in the Caspian for the a uh, shot. You should have seen them dance. Don't you worry, you'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained <laughs> and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, 
is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations. Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Yet, this is not our last order of business for today. <laughs> Stepan, Katya. Oh, friends. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day forward. For, 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 for better or for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 Oh! Yeah, I figured she was too long in that darn bunker in the, in the Volga. We don't know how long she was there before we got to her. Anna, what's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something. Please. Don't cover her. Give her air. Damn. Sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau, when they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I How don't have lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Dartum, a few words. I'm all right, Artyom. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man's furious. I think you can shovel, uh... Oh, you can't do it now. I saw someone shovel coal in like one of the uh, things you didn't know you could do videos or whatever. So, son, care to tell me what do we do now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it My been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could kill her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh my god. Do you really think it's the same? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Your man, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna's state worsens, 
I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. That's terrifying. Should I go back and listen, or should I go click on the map? <laughs> Here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Mm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantel. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast to you guys. Just be happy together. All right. Good Good boys. Boys. Oh, I don't get. I don't get Stefan, the toast. will you play that song <gasps> about death? The stuff is strong. I guess I'm actually supposed to go click on the map. All right. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go click on the map. Alright, here we go. The tiger. I can't say I've ever been religious. But right now I'm begging all gods. Please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there. Though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. <laughs> All right. I was taking a little bit longer to load, so it's probably the next open next open area it's not gonna be a straightforward mission remember this is on my hard drive as well uh, the load times would be much better if I was using my SSD yes I must say I'm rather partial to this valley take care for one makes your head swim never smelled air like this in my life I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. I see. This one requires some repairs. This will hold us back. I got it. The plan stands. We are on the boat at the dam. How is the general situation there? Over. The general situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Yeah, it's a pretty big area. I want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for a while. Ah, 
don't see Alyosha in the, uh, we have some downstream, that's not good. Oh, okay. Man, be able to get your backpack off in that situation, that takes a lot of, uh, a lot of calm. A lot of resolve. Oh, this doesn't bode well. Hello. You here to help me? Thank you. So what caused the landslide? It sounded like a monster. your friend, but I can see you're two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. You gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Hey, she's got a health scene. Crossbows are really good weapons. I tend to stay away from them, but they are. They are good weapons in the Metro series. The, Hel well, the health scene didn't used to be a crossbow. They changed it for this game. It used to be the uh, pneumatic... I gotta fight wolves. So if I don't have equipment, do I? So I get rid of my backpack. I have my map still. Um. All right. Well, I'd like for the game to say there it is. All right. I'm gonna call it here. The next episode, we'll um start exploring the taiga. Thanks for watching. Hope to see y'all in the next one.